Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through polynomials. In the previous session, we discussed division of a polynomial by a monomial. Today, let's learn division of a polynomial by a binomial. Consider an example. Divide 2x square plus 3x cube minus 4x plus 1 by x plus 2. Here, dividend is p of x equals 2x square plus 3x cube minus 4x plus 1. And divisor is g of x equals x plus 2. Since the divisor is a binomial, let us divide by long division method. For that, we need some steps to solve this problem. Step 1. Write both dividend and divisor in the standard form. That is, arrange the terms in descending order of their degree. Step 2. Divide first term of the dividend 3x cube by first term of the divisor x that is 3x cube by x equals 3x square which is first term of quotient step 3 here multiply this quotient 3x square by each term of the divisor x plus 2 that is 3x square multiplied by x plus 2 equals 3x cube plus 6x square. Step 4. Now subtract this product 3x cube plus 6x square from the dividend. 3x cube plus 2x square minus 4x plus 1. We get minus 4x square minus 4x plus 1 as the remainder. Step 5. In this step, we take minus 4x square minus 4x plus 1 as the next dividend. And, as before, divide the first term of this dividend minus 4x square by the first term of divisor, that is x. That is, minus 4x square by x equals minus 4x. This is next term of quotient. Step 6. Multiply second term of the quotient minus 4x by each term of the divisor x plus 2. That is, minus 4x multiplied by x plus 2 equals minus 4x square minus 8x. Step 7. Now subtract this product minus 4x square minus 8x from the dividend. Minus 4x square minus 4x plus 1. We get remainder as 4x plus 1. Step 8. As earlier, 4x plus 1 is next dividend. So divide 4x by x. That is, 4x by x equals 4, which is the next term of the quotient. Step 9. Now multiply 4 by x plus 2. That is 4 multiplied by x plus 2 equals 4x plus 8. Step 10. Subtract this product 4x plus 8 from the dividend 4x plus 1 we get the remainder as minus 7 here degree of remainder is less than that of divisor hence division terminates and quotient is 
sum of all quotients. Here, dividend p of x equals 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. Divisor, g of x equals x plus 2. Quotient, q of x equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 4. And remainder, r of x equals minus 7. By division rule, dividend equals divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 can be written as 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals x plus 2 multiplied by 3x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus minus 7. In general, if p of x and g of x are two polynomials such that degree of p of x greater than or equal to degree of g of x and g of x is not equal to zero, then we can find polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x equals g of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x where r of x is either zero or degree of r of x less than degree of g of x which is the division algorithm of polynomials when r of x equals zero that is when the remainder is zero then g of x is a factor of p of x let's see an example for remainder equals zero divide x square minus 3x plus 2 by x minus 1 Divide the first term of the dividend, x square, by the first term of the divisor, x, that is, x square, by x equals x, which is the first term of the quotient. Now, multiply this quotient by each term of the divisor, x minus 1. We get, x multiplied by, x minus 1, equals x square, minus, x. Now, subtract this product from the dividend, x square minus 3x plus 2. We get the remainder as minus 2x plus 2. Next, the dividend is minus 2x plus 2. Divide the first term of this dividend, minus 2x, by the first term of the divisor, x. That is, minus 2x by x equals minus 2 which is the next term of the quotient. Multiply the second term of the quotient, minus 2, by each term of the divisor, x minus 1. That is, minus 2, multiplied by, x minus 1, equals minus 2x plus 2. Now, subtract this product, minus 2x plus 2, from the dividend, minus 2x plus 2 and we get the remainder as zero. Here, we get dividend p of x equals x square minus 3x plus 2. Divisor, g of x equals x minus 1. Quotient, q of x equals x minus 2. Remainder, r of x equals zero. We know dividend equals divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. Therefore, by division algorithm, p of x equals g of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x. But here, remainder r of x equals zero. So, p of x equals g of x multiplied by q of x. That is, x square minus 3x plus 2 equals x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2. Therefore, x minus 1 is a factor of x square minus 3x plus 2. Next, let's see an example. 
4 remainder not equal to 0. Divide 8x square plus 5x minus 1 by x plus 1. Divide the first term of the dividend 8x square by first term of the divisor x, that is 8x square by x equals 8x, which is first term of quotient. Now, multiplying this quotient 8x by each term of divisor x plus 1, we get 8x multiplied by x plus 1 equals 8x square plus 8x. Now subtract this product from the dividend 8x square plus 5x minus 1. We get the remainder as minus 3x minus 1. Next dividend is minus 3x minus 1 and divide the first term of this dividend minus 3x by the first term of the divisor x that is minus 3x by x equals minus 3 which is next term of quotient multiply the second term of the quotient minus 3 by each term of divisor x plus 1 that is minus 3 multiplied by x plus 1 equals minus 3x minus 3. Now, subtract this product minus 3x minus 3 from the dividend minus 3x minus 1. We get the remainder as 2, which is not equal to 0. Here, degree of remainder is less than that of divisor. Hence, division terminates. Here, dividend p of x equals 8x squared plus 5x minus 1. Divisor g of x equals x plus 1. Quotient q of x equals 8x minus 3. And remainder r of x equals 2, which is not equal to 0. We know dividend equals divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. Then by division algorithm, p of x equals g of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x. That is 8x square plus 5x minus 1 equals x plus 1 multiplied by 8x minus 3 plus 2. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today, we discussed division of a polynomial by a binomial and verified the division algorithm of polynomials. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. 1. Divide 4x cubed minus x square plus x plus 7 by x minus 1. 2. Divide 3x plus 5x square minus 8 by x plus 1. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.